Hey y'all, it's Vanessa, the growth specialist here at Video, and in today's tutorial, I'll be walking you through how to conduct a test live. It's essential that you conduct a test live prior to your launch to ensure that you feel comfortable with the going live process and to ensure that your live mini player and live shows appear on your website. Before we get started, you'll need three things. You'll need a cell phone to record the live. You'll need a laptop, a computer, or a tablet for the dashboard. And lastly, you'll need a collection of the products you plan on going live with. If you would like details on how to create a collection, please reference our Video Help Center articles. Let's go ahead and get started. Step one, you'll want to enter in a title and a description for the live. This will be featured on your Facebook and your website. It's important to add in something fun and eye-catching that will entice viewers to join the live. For today, we'll go ahead and type in test for our test live. Next, let's scroll down to step two. Here in step two, you'll want to tag the collection of products you're planning on going live with. It's important to note the products must be set as active and the collection must be published to the online store for you to go live with these products. In addition, if you plan on going live with barcodes or barcode scanner, you must still tag a collection. Once done so, this banner will appear. Here in step three, you'll then want to select which channels you want to go live with, such as your Instagram, Facebook group, or Facebook page. For a test live, let's just stick with the website for today. Now let's scroll down to test mode. This gives you the ability to run a test live on your website and will hide the live mini player so that we don't attract any of your current customers on the site to the live show. I highly recommend that you do a test live not in test mode so that you can ensure that your live mini player is showing as it should on your website. Let's go ahead and keep this off for today. Next, let's scroll on down to step four. Here in step four, you'll want to select the get started button. Once you do this, a QR code will appear. You'll want to open up your cell phone's camera and scan this QR code. It will then prompt you to click on a link where you'll want to join the stream. Then it will ask you for permission to access your microphone as well as your camera. These are essential to go live. Then you'll want to select the red button at the bottom of your screen to start the stream. Once done so, the preview will appear on your computer. One thing to note is that you will want to ensure your phone is on do not disturb before you go live to ensure no calls, texts, or notifications take down the live. Perfect, you should now be able to see your preview on your computer. Keep in mind you're not live yet, but this gives you the opportunity to adjust your setup if needed. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and select go live in the top right hand corner. Great, now that we're live, you'll be able to see the video here in the middle of your screen. This will have the preview of what is currently streaming on your phone. Above it, you will also have the overlay, which includes the identifier that the customer will comment to claim the item, as well as the variants that you currently have offered, such as the colors and sizes. In addition, on the right side is the picture of the product, as well as the price. You do have the opportunity of inviting a guest host if you would like to. This is a great feature to invite an alternate angle, a co-host, or one of your customers. They simply have to scan this QR code with your camera, or you can copy and paste this link at the bottom and send it to them via text or email. Perfect. Now, looking at the top of your video dashboard, you'll see that there is a timer as well as the viewers that are currently watching on your Facebook, Instagram, and your website. In addition, you can scroll down to the bottom left to select the next product you would like to go live with. Keep in mind, if you're using the barcode scanner, you just simply have to scan the barcode to change the overlay. In addition, if you forgot to add one of your products to your collection, you can simply select the search bar here on the left and type in the SKU or product name for it to appear in the overlay. Moving over to the right hand side of your dashboard is your comments box. You'll be able to read all of your comments from Facebook, Instagram, and your website, and you can reply to them via the text box in the very bottom of the screen. Now let's head on over to your website to see what it looks like from the customer's point of view. Now when your customers are browsing your web store when you're live, here on the bottom right they'll be able to watch your live mini player. What's neat is that this live mini player will follow them as they continue browsing throughout the website. If they would like to join the live, they just have to simply select click to shop live at the bottom of the video. Or they can select the live show tab in your navigation bar. From this tab, your customers can add products to cart by selecting the more details button. From here, they can select the sizes and colors they would like to desire and then select add to cart. In addition, they can select the buy button in the top right corner of the live to add the variants and add to cart as well. Here on the right hand side is their comments box. They can join the chat by simply selecting join the conversation at the bottom of the screen. Now that we've reviewed what it looks like from the customer's point of view, let's head on over back to Shopify to end the live sale. 
From here, you'll just simply have to click on the End Live button in the top right hand corner of your screen. Once done so, this pop-up will appear where you can add a name for the live as well as enable the online replay. Because it's a test live, let's go ahead and keep this offer today and then select end and save. Perfect, now that we've reviewed how to go live with video, you're all set to launch. If you would like additional details, please check out our video help center articles. Happy live selling.